Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, people of God, wherever you're watching me from. I welcome you to the Betches blog and thank you for staying to my channel. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, kindly join the family. And today's gist is all about, I would say, it's a gist that is already around the social media. Before I go into that, in on this channel, we talk about Christianity. We bring you every gist about Christianity, everything, Christianity, gospel, music, all good things about Christianity. So stay tuned and subscribe to this channel. So back to the main video for today. Our main video is about Sami Oposo. A popular gospel artist he he traveled abroad he traveled to the u.s to be precise and he he cheated on his wife like inf infidelity he had an affair with a strange woman and the woman is pregnant for him as she said a video clip is attached to this video please kindly watch this to the end and if you want to watch the full clip of it i will put the link in the description in the description video in the description box so you can click and watch it at obodo oyimbo tv on youtube so now to the main gist Sami Oposo has tendered a public apology to his wife, Usiyama, and his fan over an, aff an extra affair he confessed to have when he traveled to the United States of America. Oposo, who is a gospel artist, who made a confession and apology, apology on his Instagram account on Tuesday, confessed that he had an intimate relationship with another man in the U.S. What do you think, guys? He wrote, Dear friends, I need to bring a very unfortunate incident to your attention as I'm not proud of it, but that, but I'm not proud of it, but know that this is the right thing to do. On my recent trip to the United States, of America late 2021 I got intimately involved with a lady knowing that this was not appropriate as a married man and a minister of God God is infidelity this is in as much as I'm giving you this gist I'm not happy about this because I will say it's it's maybe i don't know i don't want to say it's a deliberate i don't want to judge but i pray that the good thing is that he already brought it to the public and i just hope that god is between him and god is going god is going is between him and god yeah so let me continue i don't want to judge anybody knowing that this was not appropriate as a married man and a minister of the gospel i'm ashamed and i regret my action as it has caused a lot of pain to my dear wife usioma my family and i as i work in making peace with god repenting and asking his forgiveness i am suspending myself from all ministry work until full until full resurrection as this is what is proper and what I know I owe God and his people. And he said, to my wife, Usama, I sincerely apologize. I sincerely apologize. Sorry I put you through this shameful and embarrassing situation. I broke your trust and disappointed you. So watch this interview and comment below. Watch the few clips. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. He also said, I want to take this moment to apologize to all fathers and mothers of the faith and minister of the gospel for my behavior and moral failure. I 
wouldn't be here if not for your investment and belief in what God has called me to do. I sincerely apologize for this embarrassing situation. So guys, comment in the, let's just in the comment section. As a Christian, how will you handle this? Comment below. So I have African doll. That's her name. Uh, she's a young, beautiful, very beautiful lady. I've uh, spoken to her a few times. She comes across as someone who has a really calm, calm, calm disposition. And um, um, actually, when she first contacted me and wanted to talk about this, I was trying to see what I can do to mediate. Because what she said is that she said that Samuel also got me pregnant. And now he doesn't want to be responsible for the pregnancy. He's basically ghosted me. Okay. That's what she's saying, that he's ghosted her. He's blocked on all social media and on WhatsApp. She doesn't have access to him at all. Okay, so that's African doll. And that's Samuel Poso, you can see on your screen. Okay, so I tried to um, uh, reach out to Samuel Poso uh, to gain his own aspect of the story because, I mean, he's a known person in Nigeria. He's quite famous. And I wanted to speak to him first. Unfortunately, I didn't get anything. Okay, I sent him a message. Uh, it's going over a week now, and I didn't get anything back. I actually reached out to somebody who I consider uh, somebody that will know him and see if, you know, they can get him to talk to African Doll uh, because she's saying, you can't do this. We are both adults. We are responsible for whatever happened. We had an affair. And she's here to tell her story. Anyway, I'm not going to tell it for her. But I'm just telling you the background, you know, what I did. I was trying to how you met Sammy. Okay. So we met um, because I um, went to one of his shows here in Texas. Well, I went to a few, but we met um, at a concert at one of the churches not far from my home. And um, then we started, we started following each other on Instagram. Um, along with another artist that he performed with. Um, and we build a rapport like through Instagram. And then he asked me for my number, my, my cell phone number. I gave him my cell phone number. He gave me his Nigerian number and his American number. So we would kind of converse back and forth on the phone, through WhatsApp, through regular call, and through Instagram chat. Right. Um, that was, yeah, that was how it started. Um, and then as time progressed, you know, he had invited me to a show in Houston, Texas. Um, I went to that show. I didn't get to see him. Um, I saw him perform, but I didn't get to see him like afterwards. So he messaged me on Instagram, like, were you at the show? You know, I'm like, yeah, I was at the show, you know, myself and a, a friend of mine. And um, he said, oh, well, you know, you, you didn't come and greet me. And I said, well, we left a few minutes early because she had to get back to, we had to get back to Dallas. To the Dallas area, she had to get back to her husband and her family, and we had already kind of commuted like over three hours to get there. So he then, um, and he he had actually invited me to that show personally. He was like, "Oh, well, you didn't come and greet me, and I'm the one that invited you, you know." And I'm like, "I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you some other time at another show or whatever." So then he told me that, "Oh, well, I'll be here, um, you know." for the next few days in Houston just to kind of chill because his flight didn't leave until that Wednesday. This is in November. Um, this past November. My flight doesn't leave until Wednesday. I'll be here Monday and Tuesday to chill. So he, he invited me to his hotel and um, I went to his hotel and we hung out, went to dinner. You know, we, we actually, actually I spent the night. So we, we were together until the protocol people came that morning and picked him up and he went back to Nigeria. We still stayed in contact. Okay. So we met um, because I um, went to one of his shows here in Texas. Well, I went to a few, but we met um, at a concert at one of the churches not far from my home. And um, then we started, we started following each other on Instagram, um, along with another artist that he performed with. Um, and we built a rapport, like, through Instagram. And then he asked me for my number, my, my cell phone number. 
I gave him my cell phone number. He gave me his Nigerian number and his American number. So we would kind of converse back and forth on the phone, through WhatsApp, through regular call, and through Instagram chat. Right. Um, that was, yeah, that was how it started. Um, and then as time progressed, you know, he had invited me to a show in Houston, Texas. Um, I went to that show. I didn't get to see him. Um, I saw him perform, but I didn't get to see him like afterwards. So he messaged me on Instagram, like, were you at the show? You know, I'm like, yeah, I was at the show, you know, myself and a, a friend of mine. And um, he said, oh, well, you know, you, you didn't come and greet me. And I said, well, we left a few minutes early because she had to get back to, we had to get back to Dallas, to the Dallas area. She had to get back to her husband and her family. And we had already kind of commuted like over three hours to get there. So he then, um, and he, he had actually invited me to that show personally. He was like, oh, well, you didn't come and greet me. And I'm the one that invited you, you know. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you some other time at another show or whatever. So then he told me that, oh, well, I'll be here, um, you know, for the next few days in Houston just to kind of chill because his flight didn't leave until that Wednesday. This is in November. Um, this past November. My flight doesn't leave until Wednesday. I'll be here Monday and Tuesday to chill. So he, he invited me to his hotel. And um, I went to his hotel and we hung out, we went to dinner. You know, we, we actually, actually had spent the night. So we we were together until the protocol people came that morning and picked him up. And he went back to Nigeria. We still stayed in contact. 